and foremost, before I get started with this lesson, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Ra Kahakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well and have taught me the truth, peace, and salutations unto the hopeful elect. The temple of King David scattered through the four corners of the earth. And to you I say, Shalom. Hey, Shalom to you, Akim. Shalom to you, very few Akwaf. And Shalom to the hopeful elect. Now, this is going to be a real quick lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. And uh, I want to say this here, man. You Edomites, you white men, you white women, and even you little white children, all right? You guys got a lot to pay for, man. You have a lot to pay for. You see that? Now, I saw this article here, and I'm going to let you brothers go ahead and listen to this, and, and even you few sisters. This is why we're going to give these Edomites hell, man. We're going to give them pure hell. You see that? Now, I'm going to go ahead and play this article here, and I'm going to bring some scriptures. And welcome to The Factor on Simpson. A murder in Mississippi is now on the radar of federal investigators. This comes as an autopsy of the victim, Rasheem Carter, revealed he was beheaded. Beheaded. The 25-year-old was last seen alive in October. Now, parts of his body were found in the woods a month later. And another haunting detail, his family says Carter went to the local police department and reported being scared for his life. He believed a group of white men were following him. My next guest has been intimately involved in this case. Joining me now, Ben Crump Law Investigator, Arthur Silky Slim Reed. It's just mind-blowing to see this kind of case happening, Arthur. Um, and it's my understanding he last talked to his mother on the phone October 1st, mm -hmm. and he warned her. He was saying that there were some issues with his employer, right? Yes, with his employer. Then he said that three trucks of white men had started following him. And then he texted his mom saying that if anything happened to me, so-and-so has something to do with it. He had these men trying to kill me. And then he was also caught on the deer camera in the woods with a large stick on his shoulder and his shirt was ripped off of him and he had bruises on him so someone was after him and someone was it chasing him. like like a hunt yes they're hunting they're him. hunting him that's right and uh, he was seen on that deer camera and that photo that was on that deer camera even though they knew he was missing was circulated through the town at a truck stop uh, during breakfast time and people were talking about it mm -hmm. and uh, finally we found out that he was hunted by someone and you don't just make accusations about someone's trying to kill you and then come up dead. Um, what's crazy about it is that the shaft on the first day ruled out foul play. We don't see any foul play when his head was detached from his spinal cord. How does that happen? I don't know, man. It's Mississippi. It's Mississippi burning 2023. And we're um, on top of this 24-7. We haven't rested on this case. And think about this, that we've had this case since since December, right after the remains were found in November, and couldn't get a new story broke on it. Only a couple of people would show up, only a couple of cameras would show up. So we couldn't get the story broke until now, once we had the images of the remains. And what the state was actually telling us is, we're, we're conducting an autopsy, so we're gonna turn the body over to y'all as soon as we get through. So when they call and say that they were turning over the body, when I went to Mississippi, and it was the size of a shoebox, I was like, what kind of sick joke is this? Wow. And we're looking at exclusive pictures you've provided for us here. What are we looking at, Arthur, right now, exactly? Um, that's the vertebrae, um, parts of the vertebrae. The other picture that you see, that's the skull that was inside of that box that I'm telling you about, and that is a skull. And we've never seen this type of decomposition on anybody, so we're trying to figure all of this out as we go along. Um, was any kind of substance used what 
has him in the shape that he's at because it would actually take you know we dig up mummies and there's still skin and yeah, hair yeah. And and we don't have any that's that a question here. i have for my producer i'm like how can you have a skull in that amount of time so i'm you know i yeah man right now i'm gonna say this first right because you know salvation is for you israelites right this is why it's very important for you israelites out there to seek the lord and also to repent man you see that because you could end up like this beheaded somewhere you know and and yeah man have your skull in a damn in a damn box man you see that 25 year old dude man in in, in mississippi right and now you know what go on down there man right and and, and, and hey man there's a lot of there's a lot there's a lot more individuals that we don't know about that that uh that had their life taken by the hands of these damn Edomites, man. You see that? So this again, this is why it's very, very important for you Israelites out there to repent, man. This dude went missing back in October, October the 1st of last year. You see? So let this be a cautionary tale or whatever you want to call this here, man. Let's go ahead and grab some scriptures and I may play some more of this article here. You know, this actually kind of made me a little upset, man. You see that? Let me see here. Let's go ahead and grab this one first. <clears throat> let's, let's grab this. This is the book of Sirach, also known as the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 1. And I'm going to read verse 13. It reads, Whoso feared the Lord, right, it shall go well with him at the last you see that so this is why it's very important for you israelites out there to fear the god of the bible and his name is yahweh you see that it's very important to fear yahweh you see continuing on and he shall find favor in the day of his death you see that so this is why right it is man Let's go ahead and grab this because you, man, Acts chapter 2, verse 38, and it reads, Then Peter, right, <coughs> talking, to the, uh, talking to the Israelites, Then Peter said unto them, right, repent. You see that? And they meant, we're giving you individuals the same message. We're telling you Israelites out there to do what? To repent, man. Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name, right, of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. You see that? Now, yeah, you may see, you know, you, well, it says Jesus Christ. That's, no, that is not his name. You see that? Don't make me type up Jesus Christ, right, in Google. Because that is not the Savior of the Bible. Anyway, uh, that, schlock you. For the remission of sins, you see that? That ye shall receive the gift. Of the Holy Spirit you see so this is why it's important man for you Israelites out there to repent from your wicked ways you see that within hopes that you will receive the Holy Spirit man all right so now going back to this article here all right because again you Edomites you boy you Edomites got a lot to pay for man you see guys like vocab Malone and all these other Edomite Christians they're not going to talk about this here, man. This dude was hunted down by a pack, right? I'm going to call him a pack. A pack of damn cavemen. You see? But it's, it, it, it's all good, man. Because you Edomites, you, man, you Edomites, you just don't know. See, Jake does everything better than Esau. You see that? We, we run faster. We jump higher. Everything about us. It's better than Esau Edom. You see that? So don't be deceived by that little money, right? Because you see that's falling apart. You see? But you Edomites, oh man, oh man. Enjoy, enjoy going to your little funky ass coffee shops, right? Enjoy eating your pork, right? Enjoy uh, 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 walking your dogs down the street, right? Because we're going to be walking you devils pretty soon, man. You see that? We're going to be doing the same thing to you devils. We're going to be, yes, yes, everything 
that you guys done done to us, we are going to do it to you double. You see that? And this is why scriptures say in the book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 10, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. And you devils led us into captivity. And while we were here, you did things like this. This is the year 2023. Well, this happened in 2022. And you devils still doing things like lynching, man. And we actually were talking about you devils today at camp. Let's continue in, in, in this article here. And I'm going to grab some scriptures. And of course, this has been examined by the pathologist, the yes. medical examiner, and they've... This, this reminds me of Emmett Till here, man. Positively identified him as his... That's why some of the teeth were missing, um, because they um, used the root of the teeth to take DNA and match it to his mom's DNA. So it's positively him, no doubt about that. Now, also what happened is that um, last week, a whole separate set of remains have been found on another piece of property. Mm. Separate individual? Well, we're thinking that it's his remains, but they haven't done the DNA yet. It looked like with a case that, because we hadn't had the publicity that we had now, um, looked like they would have jumped right on it to try to find out if this was other parts of his remains. Mm -hmm. But as of today, they say that they haven't tested it for DNA yet. Wow, just incredible, just unbelievable. So, so you pretty much get it, man. You know, they found a young boy, and you know, found his remains after he was, you know. And again, this is why it's important that we set this message here for you brothers and you few sisters out there, man. This pissed me off. This, and this is why scriptures say meditate. This is why we, this is why we meditate terror on you devils, man. Yes, we do. We meditate terror on you. I do anyway. I have dreams sometimes. Let's go ahead and grab this here first, man. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 35, verse 6. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord our power, Yahweh, I will prepare thee unto blood. You see that? And blood shall pursue thee. Saith the stock, it says, Thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. You see that? So, you devils, you Edomites, yes, men, women, and little ones, yeah, man, get ready. Get ready for this. You see that? So, enjoy uh, 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 your, damn, your damn banana republic, all right? Enjoy your damn uh, uh, Cinnabons. You know, enjoy riding around in your damn Teslas, right? Enjoy, enjoy your damn uh, uh, Levi jeans and Route 66s, because all that right there is going to be stripped away from you, man. You see that? And you devils, right? And hey, man, I claim, I claim each and every devil that did this to this dude here, man. They're mines. You see that? They gave that young, they, man, they, they gave that young boy hell. And guess what? I'm going to, man, I hope and pray, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, that I get these devils in my grasp, man. Because I'm going to show them what hell really looks like. And hell is just a condition, you see that, or the grave. But yeah, man, you know, let's keep going here, man. It's the book of Obadiah, chapter 1, verse 10. For violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. You see that? So there is no salvation for you Edomites. Not at all. There is no salvation for you at all. So you, you, you Israelites out there that are simps and don't know the scriptures, right? There is no repentance for Esau, Edom. Not at all. He's going to pay. He is going to pay big time. It's just a matter of time, man. It is a matter. And hey, man, the scriptures are, uh, hey, man, the scriptures tell you that the time is speeding up, man. We're already at the end of March. So, yes, the time is speeding up. So, you devils, <laughs> you devils, you need to go ahead and live it up, man. Go ahead and live it up while you still got money.
right? Because the dollar's ready to crash. And when your Howard Shaw come back, game over. You see that? Game over for you and hey man. Brand new game for us. And we're going to hunt you devils like sport. You see that? We're going to be throwing javelins at you. We're going to feed you to the alligators and the lions. And the, yes, anything that we can think of. And you know Jake is real creative. Anything that we think of, we're going to do it to you, man. Only thing that we're not going to do is, you know, the, uh, the uh, I'll just say the bugged out acts. As far as like, you know, uh, uh, um, you know, uh, you know, man with man. We're not going to do that, man. But yes, we're going to take your children away. We're going to take your women away and all of that. Your own women are not going to want to be with you, uh, with you white men. Do you understand that? So you devils, you devils got a lot to pay for, man. I'm not going to play no more in that article. I may leave the link to it in the description box, but... You devils, this is the book of Psalm, chapter 37. It's like chapter 137, verse 7. I'm, I'm going to start here. It says, remember, O Lord, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, the children of who? Of Edom. You see that? You so-called white people, man. Men, women, and little ones. In the day of Jerusalem, who said, raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof. You see that? Oh, boy, oh, boy. Verse 8. O daughter of Babylon, O art to be destroyed. You see that? So you devil said you're ready to be destroyed, man. Listen to this. It says, happy shall he be that reward of thee as thou has served us. You see, and then we're going to be happy, man. Serving you devils. Scriptures say repay unto them double. So everything that you've done to us, we're going to do it unto you double. You don't get that, do you? All right, let's read this last verse. And it says, verse 9, Happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stones. You see that? So imagine that. I don't have to expound on this here, man. Use your imagination. It says, Happy shall he be that dasheth thy little ones against the stones. And you did it to us. Yes, you did. You ripped open the Israelite woman's belly, right? And you stomped on their heads. As far as the children, man. Unborn children. So what do you think we're going to do to you? But you don't think about that, though. All right? So I was watching this article here, man. You, 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 you damn devils. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness, man. Oh, my goodness. I don't, and again, I'm going to leave the link to this video here in the description box. You know, if you brothers want to do a lesson or whatever, you know, or just be edified by this. This, this, this is bugged out. And this is, why, this is why we don't feel bad for you devils. We don't care when you receive judgment. We don't care about nothing. We don't, we, we don't care about your kingdom. We want it to fall because we know that we're next. You see that? This is... This is messed up what they did to this boy here, man. They hunted him down like a damn deer and beheaded him. And pretty much dismembered him, man. You know? And me, I, I, I you know, I, I actually do kind of feel just a little bad for this dude. You know, now, you know, life and death are in the hands of the Lord. But, man, you devils, you devils hunted this young boy down like a, a wild animal. You see that? Let me see if I can find a better picture of them. Now, once we had the images, see. you devils hunted this young boy here like down like a dog. You see? And and hey man, I wouldn't be surprised if they get away with it. You see that on this side, but in the kingdom, oh no, we're gonna know exactly who you are, and we're gonna do the same thing unto you, times a thousand. You see that? So I'm pretty much going to end this video right here, Israel, to the next time I say Shalom. You devils. You devils. You devils.